These are my accessory bins. They have all, all of the fun goodies. I've got my little coffee machine because I'm a huge coffee drinker. Welcome to Dollhouse Beautiful. Hi, I'm Jenny Dina Kirshner. My firm is JDK Interiors. So I've always wanted to have a very classical white brick house. And though this isn't brick, it still has that look. And um, the white with the black shutters, it's just classical to me. It works with everything inside the interior. I'm very big on you know, everything feeling very cohesive and flowing both inside and out. I am most excited to see this thing come together and to have like all these visions and ideas I have like pulled together and see the finished product. Let's get started. So because I have the luxury of not having installed the floors yet, I'm going to paint my floor now for the attic, which is my master suite. My jumping off point was I went into my personal, what I call my personal box, which is a very large bin of my favorite wall coverings and textiles and magazine tear outs, just anything that I have come across, you know, in my experience designing. And I went into that and I started to piece together things that I loved and that really worked well together. And I thought about myself living in this little house as though I was shrunken down. So I've been sewing since I was about 10. So I did a lot of the sewing myself. Yeah, I quilted the fabric for my custom bed, my own bed. Um, I also sewed a ton of the throw pillows and I quilted cushions for like the bench and the chaise. This is a black walnut. It is an actual hardwood veneer and I wanted them to have like a very rich, dark, dark, dark feeling. So we stained them four times, I believe, with an ebony stain. They're gorgeous. They're really pretty. These are false walls. This is how wallpaper and floors were installed a very long time ago in the dollhouse miniature world. I mean, it was just an easier way to apply the wall coverings and the flooring, and then it's a lot more rigid and easier to pop right in. We decided to cut an area out of the center hall to give it double height ceilings, and I designed a custom staircase and balustrade that we built by hand. This is my ceiling in the living room. Very beautiful laser cut decorative molding. When I was asked to make one of these houses, it brought me right back to my childhood because I designed a house like this with my mother when I was about 10 years old. I was so excited to take on this opportunity and I knew it would be a challenge and I knew it would be super time consuming and I knew that I would want it to be beyond perfect and crazy detailed as though I was designing a real home for a client or for myself. We asked Porter Tellio if they would be so kind to hand paint this wall covering in a 12 inch scale. I chose Geo in Prussian blue. I love these colors together. I'm a huge fan, as you can see, of greens and moss green and olive green. Um, and I love it paired with this like really faint aqua color. This is my dining room. This is an adorable miniature dollhouse wallpaper that I found. Brings in that traditional element that's in keeping with this Victorian house. We had this little table made by the naturalists. It's a live edge walnut table with white resin filled. In any house, in any installation, the kitchen is like really fun to style. And I was super excited to style this kitchen and to make it look like it was really lived in or like maybe they were getting ready for a party, getting ready to entertain.
Welcome to Chez Jenny. We're finally finished. I could not be happier with the results. I adore this house. It was definitely intense. I could have used probably a whole week to install this. Felt a little bit like a supermarket sweep. Here I wanted to just bring in some other colors, so I chose to bring in this pink mixed with the black because the black then links it to the rest of the house. I have my little chocolate photos. This is me from when I took a bath in 40 gallons of chocolate syrup for a studio project when I was doing my master's degree maybe 19 years ago. So in the bathroom, so I have the closet tub and the old fashioned toilet and sink. This is a real labor of love and it was also such a pleasure for me. I really, really would live here myself if I was just like 12 inch scale. Thank you for joining me on the tour of my dollhouse and thank you for watching Dollhouse Beautiful. That's a wrap.